It's 8 o'clock, this is Clockwork Radio and coming up we have the latest Food Fighters track. But first, here's Joe with the news. Today's headlines. Death toll continues to rise, no-fly zone introduced over Libya and 28,000 job cuts. I'm Joanne Hopley and this is Clockwork News. Our top headline. Japan continues to struggle as many more bodies are found washed ashore. It is estimated that 16,000 people were killed after a devastating series of earthquakes that hit the country almost two weeks ago. The 8.9 magnitude shock has said to have been the biggest earthquake to hit Japan in 140 years. The traumatic event has left parts of the country in ruins. In other news, Prime Minister David Cameron has pushed the UN to stand by his plans to make Libya a no-fly zone. Mr Cameron believes this action will bring Colonel Gaddafi's reign to an end and keep the country at peace. Protesters have filled the streets to show their support in this decision. Other countries such as France, Norway and the US have also agreed with Mr Cameron's plans. Whilst in other news, the government continues to make spending cuts by targeting the police. Departments such as Warwickshire are set to save £22.9 million by moving current officers off the front line and asking for early retirement. In regional news, South Cheshire College has sadly been knocked down. The last walls of the seven-storey tower were pulled down yesterday after a month's work of demolition to make way for the final touches of the new £74 million campus. Students and lecturers are said to be very sad to see the building go as it has been a landmark in crew since 1966. I'm here at the new college building with Adam Jones, politics student in his second year at South Cheshire College, to see what he thinks of the demolition work that is going on behind us. Adam, you were here last year. What did you like about the old building? Well... I did like the old building, uh, you know, I, I spent a good year, my first year uh, in politics, studying politics there, but uh, it was a bit old, it was old, it was cramped, uh, you know, the heating wasn't good, the light access wasn't good, uh, you know, there were various things wrong with it, so even though I liked it, I knew it had sort of got to go. Now for the entertainment news and today's hot topics in the world of showbiz. US X Factor producers have snubbed Cheryl Cole from the judging panel on the all-new stateside show. Producers think the Geordie accent will be confusing to their viewers. Simon Cowell, however, is still fighting her corner to get her back on the show. Justin Bieber's fans were well and truly caught with a case of Bieber fever when two teenage girls went to the extreme of dressing up in cleaning maid outfits to be granted access into Justin's room. The two teen believers were caught taking pictures on their phone of Justin's personal belongings. They were ushed out by security without charge. And finally, Charlie Sheen, who is in the middle of a public breakdown, has recently announced via Twitter that bizarrely he is going to be recording a studio album with the American rapper and music producer Snoop Dogg. Now here's James with the sport. Yes indeed, and in football, Liverpool have beaten Manchester United 3-1. The Premier League match took place on Sunday at Anfield. Kite scored all three goals for Liverpool, but Manchester United remain at the top of the table. Locally, Crew Alexandra beat Burton Albion at the Alexandra Stadium on Saturday. Clayton Donaldson scored a hat-trick for Crew, and Sean Miller made it four, while Burton Albion managed only one consolation goal. In Rugby Union, England looks set to win the Six Nations tournament after beating France at Twickenham on Saturday. They managed 17 points to end France's unbeaten streak at this year's tournament. Pakistani cricketer Mohamed Ama wants to complete his education during a five-year suspension, according to the Times of India. Ama, along with teammates Mohamed Asif and captain Salman Butt, were suspended by the ICC in February for five years, seven years and ten years respectively for match-fixing in exchange for money. And finally, snooker champion Ronnie O'Sullivan is to host a regional qualifier to find the stars of 2011 in crew. The competition will take place at Riley Snooker Club High Street on Saturday the 19th of March. The winners will progress to a national round with the national champion winning £5,000 and coaching from O'Sullivan himself. For more information on any of today's sports stories visit www.clockworkproduction.weebly.com That's the sport, now back to Joe. And finally, with Comic Relief just finished and raising a record amount for charity, we sent our reporter, Rebecca Clark, to find out what local college students have been doing to raise money. I'm here at South Cheshire College to see how students have raised money for Comic Relief and what they think of the cause. Uh, me and my friends all got our legs waxed once when we were at uni in Bangor. Uh, we did a pub crawl of a local village and town 
um, about 20 pubs in total with buckets to in fancy dress to raise money. I've uh, shaved my hair off once and raised £200 for it. And what do you think about the overall cause for Comet Relief? It's a very good cause because it um, helps lots of people in Africa who need a lot of help, but then also a lot of people in this country as well. So I think it's great how it gets the balance between the both, really. Uh, it goes to a good cause, uh, helps people, doesn't it? So it's all right. It's amazing what people will do for a worthy cause. That's all for now. Join us again in an hour. So, that's the news. You're officially up to date now. Don't forget, we want your opinion. You can text us on 2587 or tweet us at Clockwork. Stay tuned for more from the best radio that runs like Clockwork.